Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. First of all, a big thanks to all of you guys for the likes and the comments. Please keep them coming. So, Euro USD, we are looking at the monthly time frame, guys, and the main reason for that is to show you where the price is right now. We are testing a multi year level since uh, 2015. This level been traded each time they reach this level, we're gonna see some action. So, so far, we've had this um, uh, break of the neckline here on the monthly time frame. It, it kept pushing lower, and now it is testing this uh, multi-year level, which is a key area. Checking the weekly time frame, we see it also here that this area been tested many times. So, I'm expecting um, at least some kind of a support here, or um, that uh, the price got defended. Because if they do not do so, the next move gonna be. Um, all the way down toward this area this will be the next level of interest here on this market going down to the daily time frame you see here we've, we've got a huge candle then the market starts slowing down a little bit on thursday and uh, even slower on friday um going down to the four hour time frame we see that after this um, huge move to the downside here it is now potentially time for a bit of a correction okay so uh, since we are sitting at a key support level i think at least uh, some kind of a correction to the upside might happen here um, so i'm thinking potentially a retest to this previously broken structure and then we will see if we're gonna get bearish evidence for a continuation to the downside i think also we have a bit of a confluence from the fib retracement here if the market will start to go up uh, from this uh, area let's say this is gonna be our lowest low and we measure this whole leg here we see that the 618 is at a perfect level here where we have the previously broken structure to watch for potential continuation on euro usd sterling um, also been uh, bearish moving to the downside broke lower here on uh, the daily time frame but even here i think it is a good idea to check the weekly time frame and see what's going on we've got a close just at the previous low here no major break of this structure but it is um, walking on a thin ice here because um, if they break lower here we're gonna see further downside but even here expecting some kind of a correction now potentially uh, especially that um, uh, the dixie is at a key level as i showed you on the euro so that's uh, almost the same as watching the dixie so right now my expectations are potential correction at around 50 percent retracement and then we will see if we go and get bearish evidence so early next week look for dollar weakness potentially for these because of these corrections on uh, euro and the sterling USD Jappy, nothing new here. A huge candle um, happened here after the break to the downside, but also there is still no break higher either. So we know that this uh, level here, if we look left, checking the weekly time frame, we knew that this area gonna be a big trouble uh, up here, and um, that 114.50 gonna still be a key resistance level. So as far as there is no break above this area, the direction will keep being potentially to the downside. So. Um, even for next week um uh, the the same idea is still in play here if they do not break higher we might look for further uh, rotation here on this market uh, the only thing that need to happen here for me to change my bias is to break higher on the daily and give me a retest that hold above and then we start looking for continuation as for now it is a sell area Aussie USD, nice bounce to the downside, checking the weekly time frame to see where we are at. You see here we've got this move uh, with a break above previous high, we've got a higher low, we've got a higher high, and I'm thinking that we might potentially see something like this, one more leg to the upside could happen uh, after such a... Um, a huge move to the upside you get a deep correction and we will see now we we see the price testing this previously broken neckline so this area gonna be pretty interesting to see if the bulls gonna defend here and continue one more leg to the upside last friday they did a nice uh, bullish candle here 
but one candle uh, is not enough so we will see here and keep in mind this uh, potential trend line um, so for next week uh, any failure to break lower here could be a reason to look for a potential reversal or at least a bullish correction to the upside on uh, Aussie uh, USD CAD also did reach a level of interest here after the breakout of this range we've got a pretty quick move couple of uh, three days correction and then the market kept pushing higher I closed my long here because it did reach uh, my level of interest uh, interest which was uh, this area that been tested many times and uh, yeah in my opinion even here early next week could be time for a bit of a correction so we're gonna watch and see if this gonna give us a little bit of a correction here uh, back down to this previously broken structure maybe at least um, to retest this area down here so keep a, keep an eye on this level here any failure to break higher it might be a reason to look for a rotation back down to then start looking to see if we're gonna see bullish continuation from this area because this could be a start of something here uh, of something big because look how <laughs> low the price been um, it been bearish all the way here to then start seeing the market pushing higher but this failure was never good for the bulls in any case as far as this is um, holding no break below this low I think we might still see further upside and if they break higher like this we look for further continuation but again early next week I'm expecting uh, a correction to happen here to the downside USD chief almost same scenario been long on this one as well took profit at this area because it is a previously broken structure been tested many times the market did retest the area and got rejected on Friday even here could be time for a bit of a correction I think at least a correction back down to this previously broken structure is what uh, we might expect next week on this market so keep an eye on this uh, level here any failure to break higher you might look to sell back down to the previously broken structure and after that we re-evaluate what will happen from this area if we're gonna still look for something like this correction and then continuation for much more upside they need to break above this level here if they do so and you give give us a break above this area then i start watching a target toward the top here on uh, usd chief gold also uh, bullish um, most of the time when inflation start to pick up uh, the money start flowing to gold um, to hide from inflation so we had a weekly candle that did break the neckline here as you see a strong break above this neckline this is signaling that the bulls will continue here after this bullish engulfing followed by a break above the neckline the next target should be this previous high there is uh, if you look here on the weekly time frame there is nothing on the way to stop this market uh, before tagging this previous high so I'm expecting further upside on gold the question is uh, how much of a correction we're gonna get before um, it reach all the way up here so we need to go down to the four hour time frame and I think right now this level down here where we've had um, last week uh, pivot uh, last week's R1 here is a good uh, potential first area to look for a retest and continuation and the main reason for that is that it been broken strongly and no uh, real retest yet for that area so any retest toward that level look for potential further upside and oil still nothing new here inside this uh, little range it did widen the range a little bit to the downside and um, then they did enter back inside reach the top to then <laughs> move back down so it's still bouncing around inside this range the key level here is still the top here no break above this and then we've got another failure to break higher so it looks like we might see a little bit of a further downside before the next move higher so 76.80 uh, is a pot uh, potential area of interest here for the bears to to reach especially if we check this here now with a break below that structure again any failure to break above this area here next week that might signal continuation back down toward this bottom at least on uh, 
the oil market and uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet see you next sunday bye bye